Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial. I've been perusing the internet and found that a lot of people have been asking how you set up helicopter inserts and extracts in the new Eden Mission Editor. So we'll have a look at that. I've already set up a couple of examples and as per usual the mission we make in this video plus the examples you see on screen now will be available for you to download in the description of this video so you can download it and try it out yourself. I haven't had much chance recently in my spare time to make any of these sort of videos uh, for about three or four months, but uh, that's because I've been working on a couple of mods and the uh, activity on those for me has died down um, to the point where I can start thinking about making some videos again. So hopefully I'll get back to making one a month at least. Tonight seemed like a good opportunity for me to uh, start doing one as I've got nothing better to do than drink some mead, which makes me seem like a peasant from the 1500s. Yes, of course, but uh, let's begin. So we'll ignore the helicopters I've placed already. They're examples that you can look at in your own time when you download the mission. I might explain a little bit about them at the end. What we'll do for our example is we'll make a AI controlled helicopter asset inserters. The player will be able to tell the helicopter to take off. We'll complete an objective and then we'll be returned to base via an extraction helicopter. First thing we need to do is place a ghost hook. Ghost hawk. Hawk. The first waypoint you place is important. After you've placed the ghost hawk, click on the symbol for the helicopter itself press F4 on your keyboard or click on the waypoint symbol at the top right of your screen and place a move waypoint the move waypoint we're going to control when this is activated by a trigger but we'll come back to that in a minute next thing we need to do is plan your route so we're going to move to this point in this field here and then the next thing we're going to do is choose a landing spot To make the helicopter land and unload its uh, cargo of players and AI, you use the transport unload waypoint. The AI behavior will search for a way, uh, sorry, a helicopter landing pad first. If none is found, the helicopter will make its own mind up about where the safest place is closest to the waypoint we've placed. We're going to be a bit more precise in this video, and we're going to make the helicopter land exactly where we've placed the waypoint. To do that we're going to do two things. We're going to use some code in the on activation field. We're going to use the land command. So this this refers to the helicopter and all the crew. Land, land is the command and then the instruction to the command is get out. Using the get out command we'll simply make the helicopter hover low enough for the player to jump out. With the land command you've got three different options. You've got get out, get in, get in will make the helicopter land on the ground with its engine still spinning, and then land. Land will make the helicopter land with its engines off, and we'll probably use that when we return to base with the helicopter. Press OK. And the last thing we need to do is place the helicopter pad if we need the helicopter to land exactly where we've placed the waypoint. So F1, props, signs, helipads. You've got a different few options here for the helipads. I'm going to use the invisible one because it looks a little bit odd for the helicopter to have a helipad in the middle of the field ready for it. And the last thing we'll do is we'll take the heli uh, helicopter's waypoints back to base. Uh, for this one I'm going to use the cycle command. The cycle command will bring it back onto the original position of the helicopter. As you can see it's linked back to the helicopter. And that will make it go back to its first waypoint again. On the cycle command I'm going to make it land fully at base. So I'm going to use this land land And I'm also going to place a helipad. Because we're on tarmac, let's use a proper helipad. And the last thing we need to do to make the player be able to tell the helicopter to take off is mess around with its first waypoint. 
if you synchronize a trigger to the first waypoint, the helicopter will wait till the trigger has been fired before passing the first waypoint. So if you double click on the trigger, you need to tick the repeatable box because this trigger is going to be used more than once. In the on activation, sorry, the condition field, we need to set our custom condition. This refers to the trigger activation box. We're not going to use the trigger activation this time, it's just going to be non non. And we're going to set our own custom variable. This passed from the trigger activation will always be bool, and bool is true or false. So we're going to make our own true or false variable. And we're just going to say Big Wilk, which is the name I go by in Arma. BW, that's my tag. Helicopter, go. So tag underscore variable name. And the tag just means that you keep the naming convention unique to yourself. So whatever name you go by in the game, I'd recommend using a, a shortcut of that. And that just uh, avoids conflicts. So this trigger will be fired when helicopter go is true. And we'll click OK there. Last thing we need to do with the trigger is right click on it and press synchro sorry, set waypoint activation. And then once you get this blue line here, all you do is left click on the waypoint you want. And this helicopter will now not move past this waypoint until helicopter go equals true. There's various different ways you can tell the helicopter to take off. We're going to use an add action. Before we look at adding the add action, which is basically just the little scroll wheel options you get when you go up to objects, we'll set the helicopter to invincible just for the purpose of this video, and that's so we don't need to restart the video if we get destroyed. So, allow damage false, we're now invincible. And then we're going to add the add action. This add action array, we'll call it heli go. Go! And we'll write a little bit of code in the code field. So helicopter go equals true. And because ad actions are run by the player, we'll broadcast it to the network. So the server knows and every other player knows what the current condition is of this variable. Public variable, helicopter go. You don't need to really understand that, but it just lets this variable be known to everybody connected in the multiplayer game. So, two last things we need to do. The first is we're going to go to the first waypoint the helicopter comes to. We're going to set the condition of the helicopter to one that makes it not deviate from the, the helipads. And that's the behavior. So we're going to set the behavior to safe or careless. Safe turns the lights off, so we're going to use that. Formation we don't care about because there's just one helicopter. Uh, speed, we're going to go full for the sake of the video. And I think actually we'll change the combat mode to open fire so it always shoots enemy at seas. Hit OK on that. I've just realized I've made a mistake while the video was paused with the uh, with the final waypoints. So I've gone for a move waypoint before the cycle waypoint and I'm gonna add here vehicle this land land and the reason for that if we look here this is the group so vehicle this group leader land land and we're also going to set the condition back to um, false, so it doesn't go past the first waypoint until we've triggered it again by the add action. So if it's server, then um, I'm just going to paste some code I've made actually. If it's server, then big will helicopter go equals false. Public variable big will go equals true. So we've told everybody that this variable is now false and we've added a cycle waypoint after that. The cycle waypoint, just like the last cycle waypoint, joins back to the helicopter. And we can test this out. The reason I've added that extra waypoint is so that um, 
it has time to evaluate the condition before it goes into the next one. Therefore, it will wait at this first waypoint correctly until we hit the helicopter go option, which we'll do now. As soon as we've hit that option, the helicopter blades start to spin. Let's speed up time so this gets over with quickly. We'll head to that first waypoint in the industrial site, and then the helicopter will veer off to the landing site. If you're the only player on board the helicopter, it's going to eject you from the helicopter when you land. If you're in charge of AI, or there's more than one player in the helicopter, then the helicopter is going to wait at this point until you get out manually. But since it's just me, I've been ejected. And what we'll do is teleport back to base to look at the helicopter landing again. Um, if you don't know how to teleport in the editor, by the way, it's uh, open up the map, hold down your left alt, and then click on the map. And we'll see here he's landing, and he's landed exactly in the middle of this helipad. He switches his engines off. And if we really want to, we can go for a helicopter go again. And then he'll start to take off. But I don't think we need to watch this again, as you get the general idea. So as we're coming up to about 10 minutes, I've decided to pause the video and I've made the extraction uh, while the video is paused. So I'm just going to run you through it to save some time. We've named the helicopter Heli-1. Our trigger condition that controls our first waypoint for the extraction is a live target one. The target is this OP4 player here, OP4 unit. He's called target one. When he's dead, the helicopter will come over here and land. Again, in the move waypoint, we've used... Um, where is it? There we go. Land, land. So vehicle this, land, get in. Land, get in, as we said, is making it land on the floor but keeping its engine spinning. The next waypoint after that is synchronized to a trigger. The condition of the trigger is a live X. So basically, we're counting the number of units, playable units in the game, um, compared to the number of playable units in the helicopter. So once the player and all units he can play in single player are in the helicopter, the helicopter will take off. If you're making this for a multiplayer mission, the condition, and you want all players to be in the helicopter before it takes off, all you need to do is change this from switchable units to playable units. So when number of alive playable units equals number of alive uh, switchable units in the helicopter, the helicopter will take off. And the final thing I've just done for a little bit of a demonstration is the very last waypoint, instead of landing, because we all know how to land from the previous uh, demonstration, I've just made the last waypoint delete the helicopter. So, on waypoint activation, delete vehicle X for each, and we are then looking at an array, uh, vehicle this, plus this list. And if we look at the on activation part here, uh, group leader equals this, so we're looking for the vehicle the group leader's in, which refers to the helicopter, so that deletes the helicopter. And then this list is an array containing all the group members, so we're deleting the crew of the helicopter as well. We will unfortunately fall to our deaths at this point, but uh, good fun. So, let's preview this. Uh, again, I'll shoot him and then speed up time. I can't actually remember which direction the helicopter's coming from, but I can hear it. There we go. So now he's here, he's going to land on that invisible waypoint we placed for the insertion. When I'm on board the helicopter, he'll take off straight away. He'll fly over to the final waypoint. The helicopter will be deleted. And I'll fall to my death. For the last 30 seconds or so, let's go back over to the airfield and we'll look at the other uh, demonstration bits that are included in the mission. This one here on the right is just this group's been named Group 1. And the trigger condition here that controls the first waypoint is um, all, the all the people in the group 
are in heli 1. So it's very similar to the waypoint we just used. Uh, this second helicopter here is very different. The units start off in the helicopter. So at the start of your mission, these units here will be assigned to cargo of helicopter 2. And then when helicopter 2 and helicopter 1 land at this location, then they are going to uh, unload their troops and they'll do these little waypoints. Hopefully there are some uh, good examples. main thing to remember about triggers and synchronizing them to waypoints is that uh, the condition is true. So you can be quite inventive, inventive with the conditions that you meet uh, before the helicopter takes off and lands. Hopefully this has been useful to you. Um, let us know what you think. If you would like to learn how to uh, script this, so get out of the editor and script it. I'll link you to another video now. Thanks for watching, goodbye.